Hello, Hello, Jane. Peter. How's it going? <laughs> How's it? Pretty good. Can't complain. What's new with you? Uh, no new. <laughs> Just the same as usual. <laughs> but can't complain. All right. <laughs> very good. Good answer. All right. Um, very good. Would you do this weekend, Jane? Uh, this weekend I uh, went to a wedding. Very beautiful wedding. Who got married? Party. Yeah. And some, some Who got married? Some, my friend. <laughs> a friend of mine. All right. Mine. Yeah. And it was, it was All pretty, right. pretty beautiful. And I don't know if I can say that pretty beautiful. <laughs> it was very beautiful. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was great. The the place the where where we we did the reception was amazing. And it was really good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Very good, Jane. And Luan. Hi. How's it going? I'm uh, fine. Thank you? Very good. Did I say your name right? Luan? Luan? Yes. Luan. All right. Luan. Where are you from, Luan? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. All right. What part of Brazil are you from? Um, Brasilia. All right. And do you work? Do you go to school? What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm a student and this is my last year uh, in high school. Oh, alright. And what do you want to study when you graduate or what do you want to do when you finish high school? Um, I tend to study business. Alright. Very good. Sounds good. Alright. And why do you want to learn English? Well, um, it's important for my career and I think it's a beautiful language and it's very important uh, to learn because English is everywhere uh, I mean music, movies, so I think it's important. Yeah, lots of good reasons to <laughs> learn <laughs> English. Alright, well glad you're here Luan. Alright, 
Joao. I don't know if I said your name right. Joao. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Did I say your name right? Uh, Joao. Joao. In Joao. Portuguese. Portuguese. All right. Joao. I'm from Portugal. From Portugal. All right. And uh, what part of Portugal are you from? I'm from uh, an island. All Madeira right. Island. You know? Nope, never been there. <laughs> been yeah. to Spain though, but that's as close as I've gotten to Portugal. But yeah. Yeah. and uh, do you work? Do you go to school? What do you do, Joao? I work. I am a informatic informatic engineer. All right. Were you so a computer engineer? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Why do you want to learn English, Joao? I I am a beginner in English. I start uh, last month uh, at study again, and I try improve my accent and my vocabulary. All right. Well, we'll try to work on that in class then um, today. Glad you're here, Joao. I will try at, uh, attend this lesson. All right. It's for advanced English. I don't know if I will can. Yeah, but it's it's a pronunciation class, so it's not too difficult. So. Okay. Thanks. Uh, you'll be fine. Enrique, how's it going? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Where are you from, Enrique? I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador. All right. We're yeah. almost, well, we are neighbors. I live about uh, maybe three hours from Ecuador. Oh, yeah? What are you? Yeah. In Peru. Oh, nice. Yeah. And hi, and what part of Ecuador do you live in? Well, I, I am living in New York right now, but I'm from okay. Guayaquil, Ecuador. All right. And what are you doing in New York? Um, I came here because my mom lives here, and okay. Yeah, How do you like New York? I'm, I've been here for three months. Mm, it's nice. Okay. It's a little cold, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. The people treat you well in New York? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I've only been in New York for a couple of hours, but sometimes people say New Yorkers are kind of mean or serious, but I guess maybe that's a myth, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, glad you're here. Uh, and are, do you work in New York, or are you are just visiting your mom? Or oh, no. I what came, are your plans to do I that? came to live here, but I'm searching for a job. But first, I have to study English and improve it because it's a little bad. All right. Now you speak fine, so but that's what class is for. So don't worry. All right. Glad glad you're here, Enrique. Uh, Islam. Can you hear me, Islam? Islam. No. All right. Wanderley. Wanderley. Nope. Wanderley. Navarro. All right. Uh, Yusuf. Hello. Can you hear me? How's it going? Yeah, I can hear you. How's it going, Yusuf? Doing well. Did I say your name right? Yeah, yeah, you said. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm doing great. All right. All right. Where are you from, Yusef? Uh, I'm from Ethiopia. Have you ever heard of Ethiopia? No. In Africa. Well, I... No, I live in Malaysia. I work there. Did you say Hello? Ethiopia or another? Hello. Can you... I can hear. Yeah, you. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Did you say Ethiopia? Hello. Hello. Testing. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, I can hear yeah. you now. Yeah, All I'm right. from Utopia. Uh, Utopia. Utopia, yeah. Okay, never heard of that. All right, and what do you do? Do you work? Do you go to school? Yeah, no, I just work here as a civil engineer in, uh, in uh, what's called it? Yeah. All right. What's your job? Did you say? What do you What do you do? Uh, civil engineering. Like, but uh, now I'm doing a training, so the part of scholarship which they are offering back home for people who are working to go on like for one year to step for and be specialized in something. All right. Well, glad to have you in class remember, today. Yeah. This what was that time you to, said? Yeah, I was saying you yeah. never heard about Ethiopia. Ah, could you put the name in the chat box? Yeah, okay. Type it out. All right. Come on, it's one of the earliest civilizations in the world. I thought everyone would know about it. Ah, yeah, no, that's what I asked. Maybe I said wrong. Ethiopia. All right. Yeah, yeah. I know Ethiopia. Oh, all right. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Glad you're here, Yusef. Uh, me too. Thank you very much for working. All right. And who do we have here? Jisan. Jisani. Jisian. Jisiane. <laughs> No idea. I you can sorry, uh, I'm not Gisiani. I'm Lucas. But I use the uh, my Kosia account. Can you hear? All right, so you're Lucas. All right. Uh, okay. Where are you from, Lucas? I'm from Brazil, Chichu. Brazil. All right. Yeah. Very good. Glad you're here. Do you work? Do you go to school? What do I will. Do? I will start the college this year, Chichu. I finish okay. my high school. All right, very good. What do you want to study when you go to college? Engineer. Engineering. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, glad you're in class today. Hopefully, you learned something. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, Jane says. Jane says there's lots of Brazilians in class. That's yeah. always true. Lots of. Brazilian Cinco but Brazil's a very big country. So, all right, we can get started, but this is a pronunciation class, so if your microphone doesn't work, uh, you won't be able to participate, so I just ask if you can leave the class and watch from the outside. So, Islam and Wanderlei, um, if you don't have a microphone, um, if you could maybe give your spot to someone else so they could participate. I guess I'll type that in the chat box. And one second. All right. Well, uh, so this is just an open pronunciation class. Um, so if anyone has any questions about anything at any time, feel free to interrupt and ask. Um, and please don't be upset if I correct some of your pronunciation because that's what class is for. Um, so um, we are just going to do a little bit of reading and we'll talk about what we read and go from there. Um, can everyone see the screen I'm sharing here? Yes. All right. Very good. Um. Hello. It's not, it's not clear, sir. I'm a sir. Eric. All right. Yes. It's not, it's not clear. All right. Give it a second to catch up. <clears throat> we'll start on the other side. Um, so we're just going to read. This is a little short news article that they've kind of adapted um, for an English class, but I think this just recently happened about a kidnapping. Um, so there's some words there. 
we'll just fill in, work on some vocabulary and pronunciation, and we're going to talk about kidnapping. So, uh, Enrique, could you try number one for me? Um, yeah, I can. S what is armed? Yep, armed, and then we have to fill in a word there. Armed, blank, kidnapped, eight foreign workers in northern Nigeria on Saturday. Very good. Sunday, but all right. Uh, what word would you put in the blank there? What word would you fill in there? There's some options down below here. Oops. I don't know what I did there. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. Um, and attackers? Yep, very good. All right, so armed attackers kidnapped eight foreign workers in northern Nigeria on Sunday. Lucas, why don't you try number two? Second. What, teacher? Uh, one second. Youssef, um, <laughs> if you could uh, mute your microphone uh, when it's not your turn, right. just because we're getting some background noise there. That's all. Okay, okay. All right, sorry. All right. Lucas, why don't you try number two? Read number two and fill in the blank there for me. Are you there, Lucas? Lucas, can anybody hear me? I can hear you. J All right. Jane, are you there? Yeah. yeah. All right. Can you uh, try number two then, Jane? Can you see it okay? Oh, I don't know. All right, Jane, I'm having a, a lot of trouble hearing you. I don't know what happened to your microphone, but... Can you hear um, me now? Yeah, a little bit better. Now I can. So. Okay. All right. Try that again. The... Uh, I don't know. Attackers. The attackers can see it's a little bit blurry. blurry. Uh. I don't know if, if it's attackers or abductive. Abductees, I would say. Abductee? Okay, so the, the abductees were taken from the residential. Yeah. What would you put there in after residential? Jane, you could finish the sentence there. Sorry. Uh, okay, Official. Oh, I can see. It's blurry. Very blurry. All right. Very uh, see. All right. We'll come back, James. Uh, Joao, could you try number three there? What would you fill in there? All right, Mustafa. Yes. How's it going? <laughs> uh, number three. What was that? Uh, yeah, number th number three. What would you put in there? Okay. Um, of construction company. Uh, the words is not very clear to me. All right. Can uh, can is everyone having trouble seeing? It's gone and written. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, um, so I'm sorry. Can everyone see, or is it blurry? Yeah, it's a little blurry. 
a little yeah. blur, but it's better than before. All right. Um, so we have armed attackers kidnapped eight foreign workers in northern Nigeria on Sunday. The abductees were taken from the residential. Um, anybody, we got to move along here. What would number three be? Any word we could put in there? Official. Official, yes. Um, but if they're, we're talking about a place here, so I would probably say a residential compound. Um, a compound can also be kind of someone's area or camp. Um, uh, so if someone has a compound, it's usually comprised of several buildings there. Uh, all right. Could you... Like if we combine two company. Mm -hmm. Could you roll the screen down, please, to see the other words? Yeah, one second. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's, um, Yusuf, you want to try the next sentence for me? Sorry, it's totally unclear. It's unclear to me, I can't see anything. All right, we'll come back to you. But try to click on my name. Um, yeah, I can. I can. And yeah, maybe difficult. give it a second to catch up. Juan Arroyo, how's it going? Juan, can you hear me? Yes. All right, Juan. Do you want to try um, number four? Number four. Juan? Yep. I say, say a security word was given as he started trying to prevent the assaults from entry, entering the camp. All right, very good. Excellent. Could you say security for security. me? Security. 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 Yep. Security. Hey. Very good. And killed. 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 I'm not talking to other, other people. All right. And if you could also say assailants. 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 Very good. Assailants. Very good. All right. Um, where are you from, Juan? I'm from Argentina. Argentina. All right. Nice to have you in class. Thank you for participating there, Juan. And Hyder. Yes. How's it going, Hyder? I'm good, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Iraq, all right. And yes. Do you want to try the next one for me, Hyder? The the text not not clear to uh, to me. I don't see the, the the text. All right. Did you click on my name um, below? Larry teacher. All right. One second. Hmm. Better. Um, okay. Um. What about now, Hyder? Can you see it? Yeah. yeah sorry. Yes. All right. Try number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. uh, to be from a person. Uh, we'll start the sentence. The kidnapped workers are. I don't uh, see the text. Sorry. All right, we'll come back to them. Okay, thank um, you. Camilo, how's it going today? Camilo. All right. Enrique, try number five for me if you can see it. Um, the kidnapped workers are uh, abdu no, repelled to be f 
from Britain. <laughs> Sorry, I guess uh, uh, some of the words got sent to the next page, but um, <laughs> the one here that was missing there at the bottom, uh, we could say they are believed to be from Britain. Uh, Britain, Greece, Italy, and Lebanon. All right, good job, them. Um, Jane, you want to try the next one for me? What's the number? Yep, where it says a woman. We're just moving along where he left okay. off. You can start there. Local government. Mm. Oh God, blurry again. Belief? No. Repel the attackers. Jane, can you see it or you, you can't see it? Can no one see the I document? Can, yeah, I can see a woman and her daughter are among them, among them, a local government. I, oh, I don't know, it's prevent? Mm. Maybe a repealed no, attacker? Could it's say it's official. 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 Oh, okay, government official. Yep. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, Joao, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm there. Why don't you try the next one? Keep on going. Uh, six. Uh, we just did six, so where she left off. Okay. Um, a local gover gover government official. Yeah. Official prevent not not prevent. It's uh, I I I will start again. A local government government official, Adamo, are you said to attack occurred at two and quarter a.m. It's boring, teacher. I can't see. Right. It. You can't see it. What about in the chat? All right, we'll come back to you. Now. Okay. Okay. All right. Can anyone see the text, or can no one see it? Yes, I I can see the text perfectly. All right, Juan, go ahead and give it a try. We got to move along here. <laughs> this has uh, yeah. been a been a disaster, but all right, Let's keep trying. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, go ahead and try number seven, um, Juan. Okay, I'm um, you said the attack occurred at 15 past 2. Uh, the woman also repelled attackers, a police station and a prison on their way to the compound. No? Um, we probably say maybe they also attacked. Okay. Um, the gunman also attacked a police station in a prison on their way to the compound. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, Mustafa, can you see um, yes. the number, number eight? eight? Do you want to get? You want to give that a try? Yes. A police chief and uh, said we prevent the attack, but they burnt two vehicles. Very good. Could you say vehicles for me? Vehicles. 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 Very. Good. Very good. All right. Um, very good. So, I don't know if this is going to help or not, but I will try to make this really big, and I will be putting it in the chat box one by one um, for this next part. I'm going to put all the words for this part in the chat box too, so then we can look at them there. Um, all right. Locals reportedly case 
Winter Ransom Forbidden Largely Raid. So, let's see here. I mean, this will be a little bit better. Camilo, can you hear me? Nope. Enrique, um, yeah. try number nine here, what I put in the chat box. You can see it there. Where's the, the bank words? The word right, bank. Right above it, what I put in the chat box. Locals oh, okay. reportedly case splinter okay. ransom. Okay, okay. Um, this attack is the worst ever. Um, Locals? Yeah, maybe it's local, so foreigners being kidnapped in the north of Nigeria. All right. I would probably put um, this attack is the worst ever reportedly. Um, oh. <laughs> but, uh, good job. Um uh, all right, and could you say north for me, Enrique? North. Yeah, be good. All right. Um, moving along here, Hyder. Why don't you try this next one for me? I put it in the chat box for you. Hyder got scared away. Jane, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Kidnappings for oh god for rain so no rate no um, locals for... yeah I would probably for put lo locals yes. locals mm -hmm. locals mm -hmm. occasionally occur in the south, especially in the areas that support the country's oil industry. For locals. Okay. All right. Juan, why don't you try, or Joao, if you're there, okay. uh, try 11 and, 11 and 12 in the chat box. Okay. Um, violence. In the north, has um, especially, especially. No, sorry, sorry. Has a uh, and lastly, right, right being of the nature of attacking churches and police stations and kidnapping. All right. You For said Biden. violence in the north has uh, largely. Yep, largely been of the nature of attacking okay. churches and police stations and largely, kidnapping. Okay. Kidnapping, uh, right? kidnapping, kidnapping no, locals. No. Uh, mm -hmm. Locals. Okay. All right. So I guess this is a more difficult article than I <laughs> thought. I guess it's a little hard to do it like this. But all right. Uh, sorry, guys. I guess this article is kind of a disaster. But we'll get we'll get through it, and then we'll just talk yeah. about some stuff. Um, Mustafa, why don't you try this next one? Yes. Uh, no one has yet taken responsibility. For for restart day. Mm. Uh. Um. Uh. What can I say? But security experts believe one of North Nigeria's Islamic groups is behind it. Uh. uh I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably put raid there. 
right. All right. Right, like uh, when someone uh, kidnaps other person and uh, want money to return it. Um. One second. All right. Can anyone see my screen share clearly? Or is it no. blurry? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> What's going on? Um Nothing. No one can make out the words. <laughs> Better, but it's small. Yes, it's small. <laughs> I can read armed attacker kidnapped, but it's small. What about yes. now? No, it's better. Yes, it's better. better. Yes. Much better. All yeah, right. Well, okay. Let's forget filling in the words. Uh, let's just read the article <laughs> and talk about it. Because uh, this was going to take about five minutes, but uh, <laughs> it's been about a half an hour. So I apologize for the no disaster problem. article. Okay. Enrique, why don't you read uh, two sentences for me? Okay. Uh, armed attackers kidnap eight foreign workers in northern Nigeria on Sunday. The abductees were taken from the re the residential compound of a Le blurry again teacher. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Lebanese. It's blurry now. <laughs> Lebanese construction, but it's boring. <laughs> Lebanese construction. Yeah, Better. Lebanese construction. Yes, All it's right. better. Company. Lebanese construction. Um, all right. Um, Jane, why don't you read the next two sentences? Here they are in the chat box. Uh, if that'll work. Hopefully we, the chat box isn't blurry. <laughs> That's more. Did Jane leave now? Uh-oh. Teacher, can you hear me? Now I can. All right. OK. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was muted. <laughs> I was muted. Sorry. sorry. OK. A security guard was killed as he tried to prevent the a silence from entering the camp. Keep going. Yep. The kidnapped workers sentence. are believed to be from Britain, Greece, Italy, and Lebanon. A woman Very good. Her... Just, just till there. Could you say assailants for me? Sorry. Assailants. Assailants. Mm -hmm. Oh, assailants. Was that teacher assailant? In a Assailant is kind of like the criminals, but an assailant is usually someone who uh, is doing the crime. It's normally a violent crime would be an ass assailant. Okay, got it. All right. Very good. And are we on? Joao, are you there? Yes. Why don't you read what I put in the chat box there? A woman and her daughter are among them. A local government official, Adamo Aliu, said the 
attack occurred at a quarter past two a.m. All right. Another way to say that too would be two fifteen, but we could also say a quarter past two. That's good. All right. Which is usually used? Is two fifteen? I would say two fifteen. Okay. Um, but it's not wrong to say a quarter past two. But um, Juan, why don't you read what I put in the chat box there? The next part. Okay. The gun also attack a police station and a prison on their way to the compound. A police chief said, we repelled the attack, but they burned two vehicles. All right. Could you say vehicles? <laughs> vehicles. All right. Um, yep. And very good. Anybody have any questions in any of the terms or phrases so far? Um. No? No. All right. <laughs> uh, what, is uh, name? What, what was that, Mustafa? The planter. Um, one more time, what was that word you're asking about? The splinter. It's here in chat, splinter. Oh, splinter. Uh, when something is splintered, it's like a wood splinters. Um, Oh, this is hard to explain. I'm going to try to find a picture, although... Splinter, sure the, the Tortuga Ninja. Um, a splinter... Oh, um, you can... when you... Uh, when you touch wood, you can get a splinter in your hand. A um, mm -hmm. little piece of wood that gets stuck in your hand, but also if you splinter something, it's when it cracks apart into a bunch of different pieces. So normally you splinter wood. Um, you know, metal like doesn't rush. splint. Metal doesn't splinter. Wood splinters. If you were sometimes to hit a log with an axe, it might kind of shatter. Um, it's splinters kind of like shattering for wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if that makes sense. Right. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, Huria, Mustafa, um, yes. why don't you read what I put in the chat box there? Oh, uh, Jane, the word, one second, it was shatter, um, to shatter something. You normally shatter glass. Oh, if I were to throw a... a, 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 a oh, I'm using Yeah, all right, very good. All right, Mustafa, why don't you read what's in the chat box there? Yes. Uh, this attack, uh, this, uh, sorry, this attack is the worst ever case for, for uh, foreign, for, foreigners? Foreigners? Foreigners being uh, kidnapped in the north of Nigeria, kidnapping for ransom, uh, essentially, a cure in the south, especially in the areas that support the country's oil industry. Very good. Could you say uh, occasionally? Occasionally. Very good. All right. Any questions on the words um, there? Everyone know what a ransom is? No. No. No? All right. If you kidnap someone, you need to call and ask for a ransom. Yes, so the ransom is is what you want to free the person. So ransom is normally okay. money. Um, so we could say ransom money. I need to bring the ransom money. Um, you know, so that's what the ransom is. Kidnappers always ask for ransom. Um, very good. Um, all right, it's a longer one. Rose. Are you there? Hello. How are you today, Rose? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Very good. Sorry I didn't respond sooner to your chat, but I've been distracted. But where are you from, Rose? Uh, I'm from India, but studying in the UK right now. All right. Very good. I'm glad you're here. Why don't you read this next part that I just put in the chat box, Rose? 
Uh, okay. Uh, violence in the north has largely been of the nature of attacking churches and police stations and kidnapping locals. No one has yet taken responsibility for yesterday's raid, but security experts believe one of northern Nigeria's Islamist groups is behind it. Very good. All right. <laughs> they are. Uh, I guess you read very well, Rose. Uh, very good. <laughs> now you pronounced everything well. Why, what are you doing? You're studying in the UK, Rose? Uh, yeah, I'm studying MA Advertising and Marketing. All right. Very good. Well, you speak, you speak very well. All right. Um, any questions on any of the words or phrases here, anyone? Um. No. Oh. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. Jane, when you said cool, I thought you were talking about ransom, and it surprised me, but I guess you're talking about cool that she was from India. But <laughs> yeah, All right. because she's from India. All right. Camilo, are you there? Can you hear me? Nope. Enrique, why don't you read the next part? Okay. The Al-Qaeda splinter group Ansaru has been active in recent months. The larger group of Boko Haram, which means Western education is forbidden, has been the most active in the area. Very good. All right. I'm going to find a definition for splinter real quick because there's several meanings. Um, but it all kind of comes from the same thing. But one second, I found um, some some meanings of splinter. I'll give everyone a link. This week Wikipedia article, <laughs> I think, is going to. Um, probably cover everything there, but here's a little basic definition too. So this is splinter is a fragment of a larger object, animal spine, or any foreign body penetrating or purposely injected into one's body. Uh, basically, so if you break something into fragments, you splinter it. But so a splinter group would be a like a <laughs> a fragment <laughs> of a larger group. <laughs> Uh, I guess you'd say. So, um, no, I forgot where we were at. Okay. Last little bit here. Um, Jane, why don't you read this last sentence for me? Responsibility for yesterday, yes, yesterday's right? But security experts believe one of northern Nigeria's Islamist group is behind. No! Which one is the last? Sorry, teacher. Uh, what I uh, little put in the chat box. Non the little mountain. The chat box. The Right, which says it is reportedly. Oh, sorry, really sorry, teacher. Reportedly mm. responsible for hundreds of deaths in church bomb bombings. All right, very good. All right, we got through it, <laughs> both paragraphs. <laughs> but uh, all right, Jane, are there many kidnappings in Brazil? Yeah, yeah. It's a business, <laughs> kind of business of crying out. Know. Who do they normally kidnap in Brazil? The the people who have lots of money. Yeah. The rich people. Do they usually let them go once they pay, or do they kill them anyway? No, the the, the latest I have. Seen, uh, 
they they let them go after they negotiated about the ransom. All right. If you were kidnapped, uh, Jane, would you try to escape or would you be too scared? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope uh, I try to escape. <laughs> All right. And do safely. Have, do you have lots of money, Jane? No. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess they, you don't have to worry have about. They have no it. reason. <laughs> they have no reason to kidnap me. <laughs> the kidnappers would be really disappointed then if they. Really? Yeah, you. really disappointed. But they do um, kind of fake kidnap here in Brazil. Uh, they kidnapped. They they found some information <coughs> for the person. They called them and pretend they kidnapped some member of the family, for example. And they they ask for money, but they they are just cheating uh, when they call. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's yeah, it's fake. Mm. But el elderly, they usually they believe it in it because. They are naive sometimes, so it's a problem. All right. Joao, are there many kidnappings in Portugal? Uh, a few kidnaps in Portugal. No. no. What uh, would you do if they kidnapped you? I, I, uh, I try escape. Uh, <laughs> You wouldn't, I have, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be scared. Yes, yes. I, I. Uh, in the past, I will assault it. I think it's. Uh, I... All right. Um, so you you said you've been assaulted in the past. Yes, yes. It's a situation hard, it's a hard situation. Mm. And uh, I think uh, I will try escape. All right. Um, very good. If someone kidnapped a family member, would you pay the kidnappers? Would you give them money? Yes, I will. You would, Juan? Are there a lot of kidnappings in Argentina? Uh, yes, you you have, but it, it's not normal. When you have uh, one case of that, uh, it's, in, it's on TV, and but it's not normal like like in other countries in in Latin America. Hmm. All right, what would you do if you're kidnapped? Uh, I think that I I will try to keep calm. Mm -hmm. And you have all about recommendations about that that you have not to look at the age of the people and. What about that? Uh, <laughs> uh, what would you uh, would you try to talk to the kidnappers, or would you stay quiet? Uh, I think that it, it depends of, of the character of the kidnappers, uh, but I I don't know. It, it's really difficult to to say if you if you are, if you are not in that situation. All right, mm -hmm. Mu Mustafa. Yes. Uh, I forgot what country from Mustafa. I forgot. Iraq. Oh, Iraq. That's right. Um, are there many kidnappings in Iraq? Mm, I think yes. In yes. a few years ago. <laughs> but you've never been kidnapped. So. <laughs> No, uh, the situation now is better. Mm. Uh, what would you do if they put you in a trunk of a car? Me? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I will be brave and uh, try running away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody have any ideas of what to do if you were put in the trunk of a car? <laughs> Scream like you are in hell. <laughs> it, well, one thing I've read in the U.S. anyway, if one of your brake lights is out, uh, the police stop you. So I heard if someone puts you in the trunk of a car, you should try to 
kick the brakes, uh, the brake lights. So maybe if a cop is behind you, they'll pull the person over for not having their brake lights on. But oh, just, sure. Just a tip if you're ever in the trunk of a car. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So no one's ever known anyone who's been kidnapped here. Has anyone ever have a family member or friend been kidnapped? My my uncle was kidnapped uh, like four years ago, but they just they just took him to to a cashier and ask him to to give it, give them all the money that he has in the bank. Ah. And he did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, they, <laughs> what else could you do with a, with a weapon in your head? <laughs> uh, did uh, they ever catch the people who did it or no? No, never. never. In Ecuador it's so, so difficult. Is there, is there I, a lot of... Go ahead, Jane. I had a, an uncle to who the, the whole family was kidnapped. Uh, and his wife and his two little children. So it was really hard. What happened? Did they get free? Yeah, they just asked for money and it was fine, but in the end, but the the trauma, trauma, can I say that? Can I say yeah. that? Yeah, yep. trauma. So, yeah, the trauma was the, the bigger problem, I think. Uh, how much money did they ask for? Oh, I, I can't remember, because he, he worked uh, in a bank, so it was because of this. Mm. Are there a lot of kidnappings? Um, well, I guess you said there. Are, yeah, there are a lot of kidnappings in Brazil, aren't there? Yeah. All right. Um, very good. Ibtissum. Yeah. Did I say your name right? Ibtissum. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Where are you from, Ibtissum? From, from Algeria. Algeria. All right. Are there a lot of kidnappings in Algeria? No, I don't think. No? Is there a lot of crime? No. No? no. All right, well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. Not a lot of countries are like that anymore. So uh, do you have to lock your, do you lock your house up every time you go out, or can you leave it open? I'm sorry? I didn't do, you, do you lock your uh, car when you park it, or do you lock your house when you leave? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> so, a little bit of crime anyway. <laughs> but in some places, uh, people don't even lock their doors to their houses. Yeah. No, not very many really. people. Mm -hmm. And how do you say your name again, one more time? Ibtissim? Is that right? It means it, uh, smile in English. Uh, all right. And what was I going to say? Uh, do you work? Do you go to school? What do you do? I'm a student in all right. And what do you study? Marketing and advertisement. All right. Very good. Well, yeah. Glad you're here. Glad you're in class. All right. Uh, Mohammed. Can you hear me? Hello. How's it going, Mohammed? Uh, it's going well, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Algeria. Algeria as well. All right. Yes. Um, do you know Ib Ibtissim? <laughs> <laughs> or is it's it a big country? A, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not uh, <laughs> a village. For Algeria it's not a village. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is it safe in your part of Algeria? Yeah, it's uh, not uh, like uh, as the media uh, show in the other world. It's uh, here in Algeria. It's very quiet. It's very not like the media because the media it's uh, show what they want to show the other people. That's uh, the point of uh, of their uh, 
but uh, pretty major, pretty major for other people about Algeria. Uh, it's uh, about all for. I I hear you talk with the Kisan and your surprise when when she said it very quickly. It's very calm here. And uh, this is the reality. It's uh, not the, what uh, the media. It's uh, not the truth. Uh, only truth. Okay. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is a point. I I agree with you. Yeah. On that Mohammed, uh, that uh, really the the owners of the new station really decide. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, what, what happened what recently? And, uh, and uh, the what happened recently in Algeria, in the south of Algeria, is the it an, uh, border with uh, Mali? Okay. This is uh, uh, this is in Sahara. It's uh, really really big. And this is an international uh, effect. It's not Algerian. Uh, not like uh, just Algerian for uh, about this kidnapping. That's what's happened recently. All right. Very good. All right. Well, apologize to everyone for the problems in class yeah. today. But um, anyone have any questions on anything about English or any words or phrases or kidnappings? No. No. No, no. question. Where do you live, teacher? What was that? Where do you live, teacher? I'm from Michigan. But I live in Peru right now. Okay. In Peru, oh, you are are you traveling? Uh, no, I live here. My wife's from Peru, so uh, good. Uh, been here for about two years now. But, but I'm from Michigan in the north of the U.S. So thank you so much, uh, teacher. All right, nice to meet the new. Yep, nice to meet the new people. Sorry okay. for the problem, saying. Oh. Yeah, hopefully, you. we'll see each other in another class. You can follow me as a teacher if you want to get a little notification of thank we have you. another class. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you guys. Bye, Mustafa. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.